All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Mazda Tricks action. Definitely some brap right here. I think we always talk about high-end motors. We're always talking performance, and a lot of the times we're talking about dry sump rotaries. But with the Mazda Trix GTU car, so um, road race car, heavy G loads, parts, we're actually running and, a uh, wet sump system. So traditional oil pan, baffle plate, factory pump, and basically off the shelf bearings. And so that's today's talk. We're talking Mazda Trix and we're talking GTU wide body race car, high RPM, BRAP monster and how it's totally possible to stay reliable and achieve high performance goals with the normal wet sump system. You just have to be smart about it. If you're not aware, Mazda Trix carries a variety of bearings, pressure regulators, pumps, and baffle plates, and all of this can enhance your OEM rotary or your performance build to be able to withstand some G loads, if you're drifting, if you're drag racing, if you're road racing, you're just out there hooning it up, you wanna make sure that you've got a oil pump that's high volume. Mazda made different variations depending on if you're turbo or naturally aspirated and how the motor was configured from the factory. So if you've got the motor apart, it's always a good idea to give Mazda Tricks a call and make sure you've got the best pump options possible bump up that pressure, get a race regulator or a street performance regulator, and you'll see those little shim washers in there. Make sure to read your instructions. It's very important to set it up properly. It's actually an adjustable regulator. And this is all stuff that you can get off the shelf at Mazda Tricks. We literally are shipping this out every day to people around the world. Custom bearings made by Racing Beat, factory race bearings, or just OEM replacement bearings. Your oil system is super important. Rotaries actually have really good oil systems from the factory, so make sure you're keeping that system operating at its peak performance. Or if you're going racing, or you're building a late model motor that's potentially got multi-window bearings, make sure you're setting up the right pump configuration so you have enough volume to move through those big race bearings or you have enough pressure to sustain the RPM. That's why I like really bumping up the pressure, making sure I have the highest volume pump and running a baffle plate whenever I'm building a performance build for road racing or any type of, of heavy G loading. You can see right there, it's a used bearing, but that's actually got a deep groove in it. So the factory competition rotor bearings actually hold more oil capacity than what probably came in your basic street motor. So this is just some tips and tricks, Mazda Tricks KMR, we're talking Mazda Tricks performance, straight out of their GTU wide body race car, 10,000 RPM, 270 horsepower at the flywheel, fully wet sumped off the shelf components. I think that's about a brap. If you've got oil pump questions, if you've got uh, pressure regulator questions, you know, you can always comment below. You can give Mazda Tricks a call, hop on the website. You can check out KMR. We're always here. <laughs> We're always here to help you get the best performance, the best setup, and the best reliability out of your rotary. That's a wrap. Wet some systems. They're not so bad.